Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for April 9th through the 15th. Generally my readings are love readings so we will see whatever comes up. We're going to get one of these oracle cards and we will reveal it at the end. Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know for this week? Uh, maybe it's time to remove some obstacles from your life. Something is holding you back and you may be considering what needs to be removed. There could be some lies and you may be removing somebody or something from your life. Um, it feels as though you're thinking about something heavily. You may be coming up with a plan. Regaining focus in some area of your life. Maybe you want to be alone at this time. Maybe you're thinking about being alone. You could be dealing with someone who um, lacks confidence in themselves. Uh, perhaps this person that you're dealing with is mean-spirited and aggressive. You could be dealing, uh, this person may see themselves as a victim often. You know, they have a victim, a victim, a victim mentality. Uh, this person uh, feels down and they try to bring people down with them. They may not, you know, think they're bringing, well, you know, misery loves company. So I feel like you're dealing with somebody who may be miserable and you're contemplating a way out, perhaps. Um, here we have the page of swords. This is undesirable news. Maybe you receive some, maybe there's some mild conflicts going on between you and another person. Um... There could be some bickering, you know, some unnecessary drama this Page of Swords brings. Um, you know, this this is this could come unexpectedly because if something sets this person off, they just lose it. Okay? I think you're dealing with a, a person that is, you know, they could be a negative energy at this time. And you are being called to realize the truth and see the light of this situation. Maybe you are starting to realize the truth about this person. This is realizing the truth, accepting the truth. Yeah, that it doesn't lead to wish fulfillment. I think you're dealing with somebody who um, may not be who you that thought they were, okay? Yeah, you may be thinking, it's time for me to restore control. I have to restore the control back to my life. It's time for me to free myself from this these this drama. Yeah, it is. It's time. It's like this is the it I feel like you guys are probably closing a door to something that maybe it was just sexual attraction. You know, maybe it was just um an impulsive act from the beginning anyway, okay? I just feel like, you know, something is ending because you're finally realizing the truth and you're wanting to, to make a change. Yeah, it's like I, I see the reality of this. This was an illusion here. It was an illusion. You know, I feel like you guys um, are, there's been some kind of secret that has probably been revealed, you know, and maybe it wasn't, you know, secrets, they come in many ways. Somebody probably wasn't putting all their cards on the table. Okay, somebody wasn't showing you who they really were, and I feel like something could come out this week where you see who they really are, and you decide to get the hell out of there. Okay, so you may be deciding to um, end a situation that didn't turn out the way you thought. Okay, this person was not who you thought they were. Okay, so let me just make sure that this is zoomed in correctly. Somebody was telling some lies, and you are seeing the truth, okay? That's what, this is lies as well, and the lies come out. So I feel like somebody was, you know, pretending to be somebody they weren't, and or, pretend, or saying things, you know, they, 
I feel like you're dealing with an aggressive person that just... has brought you down okay this person has brought you down they've they and maybe this is them this could be you or this could be them this is a person that is ungrateful about their life they're insecure they're unstable they're um not happy so i think that you are have and maybe i don't know if this is you or the other person but like i said earlier misery loves company and you are realizing the truth okay you're hearing the truth i feel like you are waking up you could receive like i said some undesirable communication but you need to hear this okay you need to hear it um yeah there could be an end of a a contract here because of this argument that comes about there could be some kind of conflict that comes out uh via you know there's going to be some kind of drama or argument i believe this week that that shows you the truth of who this person really is okay and i feel as though you know, somebody doesn't want to put in or give the same amount that you want to give. And it's probably this person up here that is not wanting to put in the effort that you're putting in. It's not on equal ground. And maybe that's what you realize. You know, this isn't equal. I feel like your intuition is giving you the answers. Um, you, you're pro There's definitely some secrets here. But the thing is, is you know. You know what's going on here. You know who this person is. Maybe you've been denying it for a while and, and trying to work through it, but maybe today this is the week where you you can't do it anymore. You can't you can't live in misery. And I feel like you may, may decide to take action because this is you can't have a relationship based on lies. Yeah, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We have Gemini. Did I say that already? Gemini. Yes, I did. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Virgo. I don't see the water signs yet, but I feel like you're looking for stability and security here, right? That's what you're looking for. You're looking for somebody who is devoted and somebody who accept respons accepts responsibility. And I feel like you're dealing with somebody who does not want to accept any responsibility, okay? So this is, this is the outcome here. This is where you're headed. You're headed towards somebody who is devoted and responsible, or that's what you're looking for anyway, okay? Either way, the lover's card reversed is about conflicts that come into your life at a point that really want you to make a decision so i think that you may be indecisive this week so you are probably going to spend some time contemplating on what to do next as you receive this truth okay some truth is is coming out is becoming known all right and whatever this truth is you may decide you may decide to just leave Okay, but the ten, with the Knight of Wands next to the Ten of Swords, you might decide to just end it, you know. I can't, I'm not miserable, and I can't pretend that I am miserable, and I can't be part of the, your misery party. All right, so this is uh, somebody that you know. I feel like, you know, you could have some sort of wish fulfillment, with somebody from your past that um, this could be a Taurus okay we have Taurus here we have we also have Leo uh, and we have Libra we also have Aquarius but we I do believe that there is somebody from your past that is your outcome this is your outcome okay so I feel like your wish fulfillment is not where you're at right now okay I feel like you have wish fulfillment elsewhere Okay, so you may decide to head in a direction of the unknown. Okay, the moon is the unknown. I think that you are going to head down an unknown path that leads to stability and security, perhaps with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an Aquarius that you've known before. Okay, this is the outcome. Okay, so this is in the future. I just feel like right now you're not getting what you deserve. Children may be involved. 
I do see that you there is some sort of growth. So this conflict that you are having is bringing growth, whether it's within you or within the relationship that you're in. Whatever truth that comes out is bringing some sort of growth into your life. And it's leading to stability and security and I would and wish fulfillment. And I feel like this stability and security and wish fulfillment is with somebody you uh, have known before, somebody that you are very familiar with. So the thing is, is when I, when I say somebody from your past, it doesn't mean that you know them. This could mean somebody that you are very familiar with, you know, that you may have known them even in a past life, okay? Somebody that you can see eye to eye with because it's, it's like you may have known them before. Either way, there is a feeling of rebirth here. So whatever is happening is allowing you to start over. It's almost like being reborn again, something like that. And I just keep hearing reborn. And I know that's a weird word, but I just keep popping into my head. <coughs> <coughs> my apologies. There is a new opportunity, and this is a new beginning. And, and I think this is a new beginning with somebody you've known before. Okay? So I feel like you may be leaving one situation, one situation, to build stability, to build something stable and secure and abundant with somebody else, okay? I feel like you have options, you have choices, and you maybe this is the universe protecting you, okay? Maybe this argument, this bickering, whatever happens that causes this conflict is some sort of protection that is going to allow you to grow, I feel like there is some sort of decision or choice choice here that you will have to live live with the consequences of your choice. Do you stay? Do you go? Are you making the right decision? There is a decision that needs to be made, okay? And this decision needs to be based on the truth that you are about to receive. I feel like it's time for you to see the light and come out of the darkness. And bring some stability back to your life. We have a lot of uh, abundance, security, and stability here. But you have to, what are you choosing? I mean, what are you, are you making the right choice? I think you have a choice between two people, Scorpio. I do. I think you have a choice between perhaps a fire sign and a earth sign. Okay? We have fire sign twice and we have earth sign quite a bit. So I think you have a choice between two people. And one of them is more secure and stable than the other. One of them, it may be more passionate than the other. Okay, I think probably the fire sign is more passionate. But the earth sign is more stable. It's time for you to be assertive. Speak your mind. Explain what your intentions are do the right thing for you you know now you might have i mean now you might have uh, now you have all the signs you have earth signs and i mean you have earth signs fire signs air signs and water signs so you could be dealing with any sign but i see like it is absolutely time for you to communicate what you're looking for in a relationship it's time for you to speak your mind and do what's right for you you might have to cut somebody out because that sword is for is for cutting somebody out. So I and this is you, man or woman, you may need to take this sword and cut somebody out of your life to bring stability and security back to your life. Perhaps once you cut this person out, the universe will reward you with something secure and stable. It is time to restore control back to your life. It's time for freedom. Okay? The devil reverse is about restoring control. It's about freeing yourself from something that is um miserable okay and this is the, this could be a third party situation but I feel like this is where communication is needed you are definitely dealing with someone who is very critical I think you you're dealing with a critical person they're critical of you they may be narcissistic they may be um, not telling the truth and you may have to be the one to stand up and say no no, 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 no. I know exactly what's going on. Okay. 
I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is using you. And I feel like you have had the best of intentions here. You've put in a lot of work. You put in a lot of effort. And you might not be able to do it anymore. Yeah, I feel like you guys have to are start are, need to follow your own path. It's like I, my inner guide is telling me what I need to do. And I feel like you... may be seeking guidance and you're receiving that guidance that you need. You may be believing in yourself more than ever. Or in your faith may be increasing at this time as you are able to speak your mind. I see that you are about to speak your mind and follow your own path. Because I feel like wherever you're at, there's a lot of discontentment. It's, it's not good. Wherever you're at, it's not good. And I feel like once you use the sword and you cut this person out, you will find the stability and security that you're looking for. But, but right now, you have, to, you have to make the right choice. And I feel like right now, you may be making the wrong one or you had made the wrong one in the past. You know, with the Four of, of Cups, it's like, I don't think you're receiving the attention that you had hoped for from this person. Okay? And I feel like you're looking for more. I'm looking for more. Something more stable. You have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here quite a bit. You also have the air signs now quite a bit. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So... I feel as though it's time to take the next step to bring happiness back to your life. So I see that some light is going to be shed on a situation that is asking you to restore control back, to take back your personal freedom, do the right thing for yourself. It's time to bring balance and stability back to your life. Whatever's going on, I feel like there is some deception. You're dealing with somebody that is very crafty and they're and they're and they're a trickster. Okay? The magician reversed is a trickster. You're dealing with somebody that is very tricky. And I think that now, this week, the truth is probably going to come out and you will come up with a plan or you're thinking about coming up with a plan to cut this person out, to move closer to something secure and stable. So Scorpio, I feel as though there is some sort of, your intuition, your inner guide is, is telling you that something isn't right. And you may, you know, finally get to the bottom of this and decide that you don't want to play these games anymore. That's what it looks like to me. It's like, I don't want to play. It's time for me to take the next step to bring security and stability back to my life. So there may be some difficult communication that sends you, sends you on your way. Or the other person. Somebody is might be heading out. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So I feel like this is a week of you doing what you have to do to bring stability and security to your life in the future. That includes removing obstacles. Someone has been not been telling you the truth. And I think that you are about to realize the truth and take action. That's what I have, Scorpio. I'll talk to you later.